that bizarre mystery in Maui. A woman now charged with killing her identical twin after driving an SUV off a 200-foot cliff. She survived the crash, but her sister did not. ABC's Kena Whitworth has the latest and joins us this morning from Los Angeles. Good morning, Kena. Robin, good morning to you. Authorities saying this terrible accident was no accident at all. Witnesses telling us that right before the crash, they could see the twins fighting in the car. Now one is getting ready to see a judge while the other is laid to rest. This morning, tragedy separating these identical twin yogis. One sister killed in a terrifying crash in Maui, the other now accused of her murder. Authorities say Alexandria Duval intentionally raced her SUV into a wall along the famous road to Hana. Known for distracting beauty blind curves and cliffs, the vehicle crashing and plunging 200 feet to the rocky shoreline below, killing her sister Anastasia in the passenger seat. Alexandria pulled to safety by rescuers suffering minor injuries. Her lawyer telling ABC News, this was an accident. Allison did not intend to harm the person she was closest to in this world or herself. But witnesses say they saw the sisters fighting violently in the vehicle right before the crash. I could see a pair of hands yanking on the driver's head. Just, her head was going like this and she was angrily, you know, arguing with the person whoever was yanking on her head and then she was just in a rage. Police arresting Alexandria, charging her with second degree murder. After recovering evidence from the vehicle, they say proves there was a hard acceleration and no attempts of braking. The twin sisters, once considered best friends, had run two failed yoga studios, one in West Palm Beach aptly named Twin Power Yoga. We love the energy. West Palm Beach is the heartbeat. Our tagline is power the body, power the soul. That's exactly what you get before moving to Maui to start anew. The sisters were exceptionally close, even by identical twin standards. They had a business together, they lived together, they did everything together. Now investigators searching for an explanation for the accident that separated the inseparable sisters. Alexandria arrested Friday when authorities believe she was trying to flee the islands. She was booked and held without bail and has a preliminary hearing today. Robin. Okay, now thank you. Joining us now, Nancy Grace, the host, of course, of Nancy Grace on HLN. And here in the studio with us, ABC News Chief Legal Analyst Dan Abrams. Dan, let me start with you. Prosecutors are alleging intentional conduct, charging her with second-degree murder. How strong is their case based on what we know right well, now? Well, look, I've read through the police report, and I think this is a really tough case when it comes to second-degree murder. I mean, the, the allegation that they were fighting, right, and that she then accelerates the brakes. So I guess the theory is that it was a murder-suicide. Because remember, this is a car that goes off the edge of a cliff. She's in it also. It's not like she got out of the car. So she's going to risk her own life to try to kill her sister. I guess that's possible. But it would seem to me this is much more likely a sort of manslaughter case than an intentional murder case. And what do you think, Nancy, about the prosecution's case? Well, <laughs> well, first of all, that's why they call it murder suicide. <laughs> that's the whole point here. There, in that jurisdiction, as in, in many jurisdictions, second-degree murder is knowingly and intentionally causing the death of another. Whether she meant to take herself over the cliff, went all Thelma and Louise, is beside the point. The fact is she took her sister over the cliff. She had on a seatbelt. We have evidence that supports the theory. Her sister did not have on a seatbelt. She ends up with just a sling on her arm. Her sister dies of traumatic head injuries. The reality is there is evidence that she had been drinking all day long. And although these two are identical twins, that there was a deep, deep jealousy between the survivor and the victim. But I, but I just heard that, and, and Nancy very eloquently has just summarized for me what sounds like a potential manslaughter case. I don't hear anything in You're terms of... You're the one of, that said murder-suicide. But, but murder. I, I, well, I'm saying that's the only theory that they could have, but I don't see any evidence of intentional conduct. What is the evidence? I don't mean... What just about the black box? The black box? You mean from the car? black box that shows she... Did yeah, not, did not attempt to break. To right, right. So, so, that, that but, shows but again, no but again, breaking acceleration yeah. right over the cliff. Yeah. So, so, so that's that's again to me. It, you're talking about drinking. You're talking about them fighting. 
classic manslaughter. The notion that it proves that it was intentional conduct because she may not have braked, and that's probably true. That's not a murder case. So what's the sister's hit defense? The gas. And, and, the and took a sharp left turn over but the when cliff. You're fighting with someone and not only that, they had also had serious financial problems and were fighting over their yoga studio but empire. But you want to kill yoga studios in some... Palm Beach, West Palm, Park City, and they would pack up and leave and leave take all the money and leave the members high and dry. They were driving matching Porsche boxers, yeah, right. okay? They but had a not, lot of money to right. roll around that, with. That may be true, but why sit in the car with her to kill her? She has all sorts of opportunities, why I'm certain, why? to kill her sister she in other ways other than her and being can, in the car with her sister let, going off a cliff. Let me ask you both, we talked about the prosecution, what will be the, the sister's defense here? It's going to be an easy defense. It's going to be, this was an accident. She was pulling my hair. Accident. We were fighting in the accident. car. Um, you know, the next pulling thing I know, hair. I'm, so I'm, I'm veering off the cliff. She pulled my hair so I killed her? The what? The, the because, reality is uh, <laughs> that that black box is going to show she intentionally went over the cliff, whether in the car or not in the car, and technically that is second degree murder. Yeah. Boom. I, I, yeah, I don't see any evidence. She just dropped the mic on you there. Yeah, she I just, know. Boom. Boom. That's it. Yeah, but I don't see any evidence of intentional <laughs> conduct here. So this is not an easy case. Well, you keep talking about alcohol and voluntary consumption of drugs or alcohol is not a defense anywhere. Yeah, but I'm not so talking that about a defense. Not fly. Right. I'm talking about it being a manslaughter case, potentially not murder. Right. Well, thank you both. That was Nancy Dan Classic. Yeah. That, was a, that was a throwback. <laughs> that was. We're back, thank baby. You. <laughs> thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Dan. <laughs>